Hey, it's Rick. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, from time to time, I do product reviews. If you've been following this channel, uh, we've actually uh, moved and we're going to be doing a lot of different products. And I'm just giving you a, a wide array of what we're going to be doing. This is a tankless water system that's going in a new house. It's electric. It's the Eco 36. This is the way it comes in box. There's different places you can get it. Amazon directly to your house. Uh, I believe it's like around uh, $600. A tankless water system valve kit that goes on the bottom of that. And then we're also going to start with a pre-stage, just one stage filter uh, before it goes into the filter system. This is going to filter all the water that goes in before the hot water heater and the whole house. And that's going to have a carbon block sediment filter. Hey it's Rick, welcome back. Now this is the install on the uh, water filter. Hopefully that's showing up. I'm kind of jammed into a little corner here up in the attic space. Because the only place we could get it here in South Carolina, they bring their water lines in weird. Actually goes up into the attic and uh, I had to do some configuring to uh, change this all around. But long story short, this is where it's mounted. I mounted it on here. Put some backer board on there. That T there wasn't uh, needed. It was actually a hot water heater here and uh, I changed that too. And I'll show you that hot water heater at a later video that's an instant uh, tankless hot water system but right now this is what you came for this is the Culligan water filter single stage and I built this tub it's just a cement mixing tub uh, with a bulkhead fitting that goes out uh, my drain line for my uh, AC unit which is once again up here in the attic space things are a little different here in the south so what we'll do is this has been running for about uh, 30 days it's run fine no problems but this uh, filter is probably clogged now. It's swollen up a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put one of these carbon block filters in there. That's this one here. It's about time. So what this system here is it comes with like a uh, little hand tool here to uh, be able to take your filter cartridge off and on. And also uh, gives you a little leverage to close the valve. You see that little loop there? You put that on top of your valve here like this. And then when it goes on there, you pull it towards you. You're going to have different indicators here where it's, you'll see it up top right there it says bypass and right here says off and then over here is open in the run position when that valve is in this position right here it means it's open and ready to go and to operate it's in the open position so the indicator here flashes it has a little battery pack in there and it'll let you know when it needs to be changed the flash red um, from what I've gathered. So I'm going to go ahead and put my wrench on here after I close it off. And I'm one handed, so I'm just going to come back and I'll show you. So I'll try to show you a little bit here without wobbling the camera too much. But we're going to go ahead and crank that over to the off position like that. And now it's shut off and we can go ahead and uh, bleed off our pressure. So we're going to go ahead and screw this off. You should start to see some water starting to come out of it. There we go. Just came right out. <laughs> a little hard to hold with one hand and the camera. And what you want to do is you want to inspect that canister, make sure that there's no grime or anything there, grit that's come down there and it's gotten slimy on you. I don't know if I can see up in top there, but I'll try. Let me change this to uh, inside look here. It's tripping around on my camera now, right? <laughs> So that looked fairly clean. We're ready to go ahead and insert the new filter. It all looks fairly clean. I've had this out several times. We had to have the system bled down. So now you want to make sure these come with washers, that there's a washer on the top. Right there. And there's a washer on the other side on the bottom. Really no top or bottom on these. You just want to make sure you have them on there. And once again, let me pause this. I'm going to slide it in. All right, now it's in the canister. It's sitting straight up. You want to make sure you line that up before you go ahead and screw it back on to the head of the uh, filter system. And then just crank it back up the opposite direction you took it out. Now I've screwed it back on there. And you just want to snug it now. You don't want to go crazy with it because that water pressure will probably tighten right up on you anyway. But just take it a little bit. Feel like it's starting to get snug, just stop right there. Don't over tighten it. You got plastic threads on a plastic canister and that's uh, a plastic disaster and a major water disaster if that cracks on you. You know, luckily I did build this tub here uh, so I won't have any problems, hopefully. Now lightly just go ahead and crack your valve here and let it fill up. If you see any leaking, it's not uh, the end of the world, just tighten it back 
to take it back to off and uh, tighten it up or try to snug it in the open position. You can see the water filling up there. What will happen is it will equalize. You won't hear any more dripping. And you'll know you're sealed up. You can periodically come back and check it every once in a while and make sure that you aren't leaking for sure. It's probably about 85 degrees up here in the attic right now in the space, so uh, there shouldn't be any water in this tub in a couple hours. It'll probably just evaporate it right off, so I'll know whether I'm leaking or not. And I'm going to go ahead and use my cheater here a little bit because my hands don't work that well and fully open it. Okay, I've equalized and uh, everything looks good. Uh, go around it with your hand and make sure you don't have any water dripping, not underneath, you know, not in the tub, anywhere coming out significantly. Uh, that'll indicate that you got any issues. Make sure you wipe it with a rag and then check it out. So I'm actually happy with this model here. Um, I've had other models. You can look on my channel there. I'll put some cards up top here to some of the other ones I've had and uh, this one so far I really like a lot I mean they're kind of mimicked off of the same design probably actually popped out of a Chinese factory with the same you know design and then everybody stamps their name to it and uh, they all come up with their own models but they're all pretty much the same these days I mean for like 50 60 dollars a single stage but I'm putting it on because I want it before my um, instant hot water heater and uh also to filter some of the uh, water here, um, I like to do uh, aquariums, fish tanks, and I want to take the chlorine out before it gets to the tank so I can go ahead and fill up my aquarium. And also um, my wife seems to like it better without having the chlorine in our water as much. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey, uh, that subscribe button's been down there in the right hand corner. Please hit it. Never know what video I'm going to come up with next. That bell icon's down there. Smash that bell. It notifies you immediately as soon as we have a video that comes up. Please share with your family and friends. And give us a thumbs up on YouTube. It lets YouTube know that uh, you like our videos. And uh, they'll rank us higher in the ratings. And they'll showcase our videos. Take care, everybody. I hope you're safe. Bye.